Hi there folks, Andrew at Chatfuel. Today we're gonna to be talking about our brand new feature, which is our native ads manager integration. Now don't get too excited because this doesn't allow you to fully create Facebook ads, whether those are click to messenger or sponsored messages within the Chatfuel dashboard. Instead it guides you through the process and then also provides some native statistics available in the dashboard. So you don't have to be switching tabs constantly between ads manager and the Chatfuel dashboard. But that being said, let's dive in and show you how this integration works. So here we are in the Grow tab. I'm gonna scroll down here and you'll see this new module, Facebook Messenger Ads. You'll see that for the time being, this is in beta, but this is super, super exciting. Again, a great way to consolidate all of your bot performance data in the dashboard rather than having to go to Ads Manager constantly, or if you need to edit an ad, you can now do that here in the dashboard. So anyway, how does this work? First, you need to connect your ad account. So I've done that here by clicking this, selecting my ad account, clicking save. I'm gonna X out of here for the time being though. And then you'll see all of your statistics here, which I'll talk more about later in this video, but it's a great high level view of all the campaigns you're running, whether those are click to messenger ads or sponsored messages, and you can monitor the performance accordingly. So let's now take you through step-by-step -step how to set up both of these ads, whether again, they are click to messenger or sponsored messages. Then we'll review some of these statistics you have at your disposal here. So first what we're gonna do is click connect new ads, pretty self-explanatory. Now, first let's start with creating the click to messenger campaign. So to do that, I'm going to launch ads manager right here. It provides a helpful link. Once that loads up, I can then create a campaign. So I'll do that here. I might speed through this because this isn't super important just yet. Here is where we set up the connection to Chatfuel. So how this works as a refresher for those who don't know is we're running these click to messenger ads, which will appear in people's news feeds that we're targeting. So they see that ad in their news feed, they click the call to action button in that ad, which will then take them into messenger. It'll show them this initial message, which we're gonna edit here in a second. And then once they respond to that message, ideally by clicking a button or quick reply, we're gonna send them to a block in chat field. So that's kind of the three step process from the news feed to this intermediary message here in Facebook, which Facebook requires, to then becoming a chat field subscriber by going into a chat field block. So here in the messenger setup, we're going to click create, and I prefer choosing this start conversations option, not generate leads. So I'm going to click here. I will change this from frequently asked questions to buttons. That's what I personally prefer. Or actually, we're gonna use quick replies because this makes the setup a little bit easier. And then we can customize our greeting here. I'll say, hi, we'll use the user's first name. And we'll just keep this default text actually, but keep in mind if you do want to provide some sort of greeting that is other than just this default, you do need to edit it here in Ads Manager. You cannot edit this in the chat field dashboard, so important to know. Okay, so once we have that all set up, I'm going to not save this as a template because it's just the default setup. And then we're just gonna click finish. At this step, we don't need to customize the quick reply name or the button name or connect it to a bot. We're gonna do that in chat fuel. So I'm gonna click finish here and then provided that everything else is set up properly, our targeting, etc., we can click confirm and that ad will be submitted to Facebook for review. Now, once this takes place, okay, great. We're gonna wait for this to finish publishing. Perfect, so now that we have that in review here, we're gonna go back into the chat field dashboard and set up this remaining integration. So I'm gonna click set up for connect your bot to your ad. This will allow me to select the campaign. In this case, I just have this default messages campaign that I created and the ad as well. I'll click set up then. 
And here we go. So at this point, now we can override whether we use quick replies or buttons in that ads manager setup, we can create whatever setup we would like here. So we can choose quick replies that will give us many more options for what the user can choose by clicking that quick reply or what I prefer personally is buttons. These are more limited. You can only use three buttons, but they tend to render more effectively. They're more reliable in my view. And so I'm gonna go with those. And so for the button here, let's say that the ad we're running is for a shoe shop. We're selling shoes, we're doing some sort of promotion. So what we could do here for the button, we could again, customize that greeting and ads manager, say, hey, click the button below for 20% off your first order. And then for the button here, the call to action, we could say claim coupon, for example, and then send them to a block. So I already have a claim coupon block here. I can connect that, or if I wanted to, I could create a new block, call it, I don't know, discount code, create that. And then from here, I can click save, or I could just double click this block here to edit it or click edit message. There's a variety of ways to do this, but I'll click save. And there we go. So I'll wait for this to save here. Cool, so now you can see that both of these campaigns that I have, the existing one and the new one are active, which is great. And now at this stage, if I wanted to, as I just showed you, I can edit both the message on the block or I can also edit what block the button or quick reply is connected to. So to do that, I can just click here on this campaign. It will then allow me to edit while the ad is live, uh, the button text that I'm using here. If I wanted to add multiple buttons, I could do that, change what block it's connected to, etc. So this is a great easy way to edit an ad that is live, or at least in review about to be live. And you can do that all here within the chat field dashboard. But again, remember, if you do want to edit that greeting text, unfortunately, you have to go into Ads Manager to do that. But for quick and simple changes, you can make those directly here in the dashboard, which is amazing. So that being said, let's talk next about sponsored messages, and then I'll review the different statistics here and define what exactly those mean. Um, so that being said, let's show the sponsored messages now, how to create those, relatively the same process, so not too much to show. Again, I'll speed through much of it, but I'll show you how to do that just in case. So as before, we're gonna click connect new ads. I'll switch now from click to messenger campaign to sponsored messages campaign. And as a refresher, the main difference, just for those of you who don't know, between click to messenger ads and sponsored messages, click to messenger ads, you can think of those as targeting new audiences. Granted, you can target your existing users as well, but basically you are sending out these newsfeed ads, people are clicking them and getting into your chatbot. Again, typically you can be targeting people for the first time, whereas with sponsored messages, you're re-engaging existing subscribers that you have in chat fuel. So that's the main difference. Click to messenger ads, in the newsfeed, sponsored messages appear directly in the subscriber's inbox. Okay, so now that we have that set up, I'm gonna go back into Ads Manager. We'll create a new campaign and I'm gonna turn this one off in the meantime. So let's click Create. And again, I'll speed through this. Okay, so just as before, we're setting up the greeting here and we can use either buttons or quick replies. Again, just for the setup here, I always choose quick replies because unlike a button, you don't have to add in any additional information, so it saves you a little bit of time. And so now that we have this set up, I would then click confirm, although I'm not going to do this because I just created this new Facebook test account that will unfortunately not let me create sponsored messages because I need to have it for like at least a week to do so, but it would follow the same process again now that we have this set up, we simply click to submit that ad for review. And like with 
the click to messenger campaign that we set up, we would then click connect the bot to your ad. You would choose that campaign, choose that ad, and then set up those either buttons or quick replies that you want users to click to then redirect them to a block. So again, unfortunately at this time I cannot show that, but rest assured that is how it works. It's really the same exact process, just choosing that different objective. As promised, let's talk about the statistics that you have here. Uh, the first one here, reach, this is the total number of unique people who have seen your ad. So if there's, you know, 100 people that would appear here, the key here is unique users who are seeing your ad. Impressions, on the other hand, is different from reach because it's just the total number of times that your ad has been served in the newsfeed. So for example, you could have 100 unique people who see that ad, but maybe you have 200 impressions because each of those 100 people sees the ad twice. So impressions will typically be higher than reach if the same person is seeing the ad multiple times. Clicks is the number of people who have clicked on the call to action button for that ad that appears in the newsfeed. Cost per acquisition here is the total number of spend that you've given to an ad, so your total ad spend divided by the number of new subscribers you've gained from that ad. So in this case, acquisition is a new subscriber. New subscribers similarly is the number of people who you've gained as subscribers because of this campaign. So in other words, it is defined as when a user sees that greeting message, that alone is not a new subscriber. They actually have to click on the call to action button in that greeting message, whether it's the button or quick reply. And then once they get to a chat field block, they're considered a subscriber. So important to note there. Open rate, personally, I would not recommend caring too much about this statistic because technically the definition is having a message delivered to them and not actually reading it is very slim because they'd have to like X out of the messenger window in like a half second period. So again, typically this open rate is going to be 100%. Don't worry too much about it. In my mind, a statistic that is much more important here is block click-through rate, and this is the percentage of people who have received your block in chat fuel. So they go from that greeting message to the block in chat fuel, and then once they're in that chat fuel block, this is the percentage of people who have clicked through, meaning clicked a button or a quick reply in that chat fuel message going to the next chat fuel block. So again, this block click-through rate has nothing to do with the Facebook greeting message you set up. It's after they get to that chat fuel block. Uh, and if you have a button or quick reply on that block, are people actually clicking through from that first chat fuel block to the second one? So again, this is a quick overview of all the statistics here. Just some other things to mention in closing. You have this toggle here, obviously, to see campaigns that are active or inactive. So if you have tons of different campaigns that are you know, inactive, you can toggle to see those or not. So personally, I just prefer seeing all the campaigns that are active. And then additionally, what I think is really helpful is you can see on a lot of these statistics, you have a hyperlink. So you see the cursor will change here. And so if you click that, you'll be able to see in the people tab specific users who are part of that group of that statistic, right? So people who have clicked through, people who have, you know, seen the block, etc. You have all of those statistics available. And so that's very helpful as well for building custom or lookalike audiences. And one final note here as well, the ad statistics shown here, you can either see ads that you've created here in chat field or this will also show ads that you've created in Ads Manager. So it's important to note that you'll see both types here, uh, whether you've created them in chat fuel or not. And then also, uh, this will only show click to messenger and sponsored message ads. So if you have you know tons of other campaigns in Ads Manager that you created in Ads Manager that are not related to Messenger, meaning click to messenger or sponsored messages, you will not see them here, right? So important clarification to make. If you're like, where are all the other ads that I created? That's because we're only showing a select number of ad types here. So that is the tutorial on how to use our native Facebook ads integration here in chat.
chat fuel. Again, the main value proposition is that for beginners, this is really helpful because it guides them through this whole process step by step of creating click to messenger and sponsored message ads. And also it allows you to easily track all of your ad performance data here directly in chat fuel without having to switch back and forth to ads manager constantly. And in the future, I hope we will add an additional customization here where you could add columns and you know track performance based on specific user attributes, such as if somebody comes in through an ad and you're driving them to a lead form, you know what percentage of people actually complete that lead form and what's your cost per acquisition or cost per conversion for that objective. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video and happy botting.